Good morning, everyone. I just arrived at Hayburn State Park, just south of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and we are headed out this morning. There's my campsite. And we are headed out this morning on a ride on the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene's. Um, it's been several years. I did this once before, some of it. This trip, we're hoping to do all of it. And my friends are up there. Where is their camper? Somewhere up there. Oh, right there. <laughs> and uh, they'll be down shortly and we'll be off. I wanted to keep track of the mileage over our four days of uh, doing the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene, so this is the start. The Trail of the Coeur d'Alene is a 72 mile long bike path paved that crosses the panhandle of Idaho from Washington to Montana. And we did about half of it twice because we would do out and back trips every day. Okay, so we haven't even made it onto the trail yet and we've come across this and it's so beautiful. And there were birds, but I guess we made too much noise. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> that was Louise. <laughs> All right, this is the bridge that we're gonna be crossing in a few minutes. It goes right over the lake. Is it going? Yeah. Perfect. Ready? All right. Woohoo, let's rock and roll. Let's check again. 10 seconds, yep, yeah. good. Okay. found hiding in the woods. A praying mantis. And where'd that other thing go? Oh, there it is. Oh, that that thing hiding in the woods, it's got a yellow safety vest on. Looks just like the bumblebee. I think this was also done by the person who did the praying mantis and the bumblebee. Does it look like anything to you? These were the first of many, many moose that we saw over the four days that we were doing the trail. Oh, 
Oh, I'm back from the ride. We did 50 kilometers. And my battery on my uh, front drive died. Thankfully, we're in a campground that has electric, so I plugged it in. But I had to get Randy to help push me up some of the last hills because, well, when we're on the rail, tra rail trail, there was hardly any hills. It's like really flat. But when you get back and then you have to get onto the road for a mile and there's some hills and oh my gosh, it was, uh, it was brutal. Even when I shifted down into my lowest manual gear, um, it was, <laughs> it was a little bit stressful, but anyways, it was a beautiful, beautiful ride and I'm looking forward to a good rest now. Uh, it's about four o'clock. We left about 11 and, uh, I'm just looking forward to some R and R time now. I'm reading a novel, drinking my coffee, going to make a little supper in a bit, and then who knows, probably have a, a nap until bedtime. <laughs> I'm really tired. I just woke up, I take off my blind off my window, and this is my view. I love waking up to this kind of stuff. <sighs> well... I'm out biking this morning on the trail of the Coeur d'Alene's. Uh, I gotta say that once my cargo trailer is ready to carry my front drive around in, it's gonna be so great to be able to travel because I have so much more freedom. Uh, my friends brought my bike this time uh, in their vehicle, but uh, they went out for a bike ride this morning. I wasn't really ready to do anything when they left, so I stayed behind and get everything done that I wanted to do, and then I decided to go meet them. I wouldn't have been able to do that without my front drive, so I am just really loving the freedom. I was looking forward to the enjoyment part where I get to go do all kinds of bike trails, and that's definitely part of it, but uh, I'm really enjoying just being able to um, have freedom and go more places and do more things and be able to do them. It's so great. On day two of our trip, we moved to Cataldo, Idaho, and we were camping there. And the first day, we were kind of sitting out on the trail reading our novels. There was a, a table there, and we just sat there. And we noticed a deer down the trail, and I was getting my camera out to take a picture, and this moose walked out in front of the deer. Kind of amazing. <laughs>
today we're riding between Cataldo and Smelterville. And this is one of the view or the view from the trail. This is just such a beautiful part of the trail. It's gorgeous. Just love how the water looks. It's very pretty. On the way back from Smelterville, we stopped at this restaurant uh, called The Snake Pit. It was a really cool place, had lots of really cool stuff in it. That bookshelf was something that really caught my eye. The carving on it and the wood that was placed into it and then the fireplace. It was just a really neat place. Back on the trail after a good lunch, we were headed back to our camper for the evening. It was a good day.
before we got home, there was another moose off to the side of the tra trail. A bull moose this time. Got my book and my coffee. And I'm just gonna chill here. Went for a, I don't know, 20 or 30 kilometer bike ride this morning to Smelterville. It was beautiful. Looks kind of stormy out that way, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm still here at Cataldo, Idaho, and loving it. It was sunny a little bit ago, and now, thankfully, I'm in my van, but it is blowing like crazy, and there's thunder and lightning. You can barely see that mountain over there. And my friends are out on the river. They drove seven kilometers up the river to canoe down. I hope they're okay out there. Um, I think they're still probably an hour away from getting back here. The river's just over that grass there. Um, yeah. Poor Randy and Louise stuck out there. Well, it's quite a bit later and um, the storm is over. It only lasted maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, my friends Randy and Louise were out on the river. They saw the forked lightning, decided to get off and started walking down um, over. There was a campground, I guess, where they got out of the river. And there was a lady there that was camping and said she could that they could leave the canoe there. And she drove them to their, um, their the Randy and Louise's camper. And she kept the canoe for them. Um, we'll go back. They'll go back and get it in the morning, I guess. And maybe canoe the rest of the way down the river. But that was some storm. It th there's trees down all over on the trail on the biking trail. Uh, there's some. Um, I thought my van was going to blow over. I've never felt like that in my van before, but <clears throat> it felt like it was going to blow over. My front drive was parked in front of my van, and my neighbor, who was camping next to me, um, got out because it blew over. My front drive blew over a couple of times, and it's really heavy, so it was quite dusty. Anyways, the neighbor came out and set it back up, and then it blew over again, and he decided to leave it there <laughs> so, until after the storm, and he put it back up afterwards. So um, that was really kind of them. Uh, yeah, quite a storm. <laughs> I'm out here on the trail again, uh, just about maybe two miles from my campsite. And uh, my friends that got caught in the storm last night, they drove up to where their canoe is and they're canoeing back. So I was hoping to see if I could get some video of them when they come back. Hopefully they haven't gone by already when, when I was uh, not here, but um, I went further up and I was gonna park at another spot that goes along the river and um, there's a bench there and I pulled up beside the bench and there was this moose just below me, like maybe 10 or 15 feet below me. Huge moose with, uh, you know, the big rack and everything. It might have been the same one that we saw yesterday. <laughs> and it was standing in the river right where I was. So I kind of, he turned around and looked at me and I backed out of there and came back to this spot instead. Um, I really wished I would have had the stupidity I, it would have been to videotape him but he was way too close and I'm just like yeah I got out of there um he was beautiful but yeah anyways I'm just hoping that they will come along up the corner up there and maybe I can get my friends I mean and maybe I can get some video of them I went further down the path and got onto the bridge so that I could uh, videotape Randy and Louise going under the bridge. And this is what was down there. Some of that's pine needles, but it's a bunch of fish, like a whole school of fish that were swim not swimming, just parked there.
the ride on day three started off with this. This day I only rode from Cataldo to Dudley, which was about five miles, so 10 miles round trip or 16 kilometers. Well, that's the mileage that we did in four days. Unfortunately, day four I didn't get any video of, I guess. So we did a hundred and, or I should say I did, Randy and Louise did more than I did, but I did 149 kilometers. So I'm pretty proud of myself and I really, really enjoyed it.